So today started with a bang. He's not feeling good. He's just hurting. It's okay, buddy. I've seen a lot of terrible things over the years, but today might just be a new low. Here, give me a um, set I'm worried he's going to rest. Yeah. A good Samaritan found this poor dog out in the swamp basically dying. He didn't know where to go with him, so he brought him to us and we raced him off to the vet. These are maggots. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, buddy. The head wound. He clearly has a wound from a gunshot. And judging from all the maggots, this is something that happened days ago. Just the maggots up. Someone shot him and left him to die. Try to comb all of the maggots out because we're not going to be able to assess it with them all plugging it up in there. Watching this dog laying there suffering, it's probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Somebody shot a dog and left him out in the swamp to die a slow, horrible death, eaten alive by maggots. This is a pretty intensive wound right here. There is only one way to describe the person who did this, and that is they have no soul. They are a monster. You know, this wasn't like somebody was just shooting and they were just like, oops, I didn't see you in the woods. Well, that was deliberate. Um, do we have a name for him? Curtis. Curtis. We can tell from the wound that he was actually shot from behind as he was running away. This isn't a case of someone protecting themselves from an aggressive dog. This was straight up attempted murder, plain and simple. Yeah, go ahead and toes him. He's getting a little distressed. His tissue's all swollen and... Yeah. Well, the other thing too, when you talk about feeling, it's pit bulls, they can take it. Yeah. So he may be oh, feeling yeah. pain, but he is just yeah, not reacting. Yeah. Despite what this dog is going through, he is being so gentle with us and so patient. He's got to be probably one of the toughest dogs I've ever met.